this is like a proud moment for us that we are here. Everybody is expecting to win the games. But uh, the game is not easy. Without uh, ICC, they were not able to, to be an athlete. Whenever they do basketball and sweets, I feel that we have future. In basketball, there is an expression, there is no dead time, all the time is life. When I grew up with, with disability, I want to fight with that. What's your hope for Afghanistan people? Peace. Only peace. If there is a peace, everything will come. With service from Huangqiao has arrived. Thank you. Hello. Thank you. Hello. Hello. Okay. 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 I think they have, they have a good spirit and they are ready to, to compete and uh, their moral is so high. Thank you. <laughs> My name is Shukran Zirak. Uh, I am the uh, manager of Afghanistan wheelchair basketball team and for all Afghanistan's uh, team phys physician. And I have, was playing for wheelchair basketball 10 years back. Uh, I was only 14 years old, I lost my leg due to mine explosion in Kabul. I could not accept myself to be in this condition. I wanted to kill myself. I want to be, to die as soon as possible. And then my brother came to me and he said with me, he said, don't worry. You have a brother and he can share the life with you. This is the word I remember. Four decades forward have left Afghanistan's population with one of the highest rates of people with disabilities in the world. One in every seven people live with a disability. The International Committee of the Red Cross runs seven rehabilitation centers throughout the country. They receive an average of 15,000 new patients every year. This is also where Shukula Zirak got his prosthesis. He now works as a physiotherapist, treating Colin's patients similar to himself. For these patients, the physical and mental rehabilitation can be a long journey. But in Zirak's case, basketball was a quick game changer. It's not only me, it is uh, I uh, changed the life of many people. Wheelchair basketball is not only a sport. It is a physical activity for disabled. It gives you strength. It gives you morale. It gives you power to, for your life. 
Wheelchair basketball was introduced by the ICRC into the country in 2011 as part of its rehabilitation program. Two years later, the first national team was set up to compete on the world stage. Despite limited facilities, the team improved with surprising speed. In May, the team won a silver medal at the Asia Oceania Championship held in Thailand. This earned them qualification and a ticket to their first ever Asian Perry Games. Mr. Sultani is, is very fast. He's a very motivated player. Everyone, everyone in here have friends in Afghanistan. His family has friends. All of them know that you are here for the tournament. Winning is the wish of all players. This is our aim. Team Afghanistan has been drawn into Group A. They need at least two wins in order to secure a spot in the semi-finals. But they are facing a tough start in Team Iran. Iran won the gold medal of men's wheelchair basketball in 2018 at the Jakarta Asian Paris Games. Yeah, it's a big day. It's uh, our first game versus the strongest team in Asia. The match gets off to a difficult start for the team. I know it's not easy, but uh, they will not beat us easy. This is I tell you. The coach urged the players to utilize their defense as a way to narrow down the lead. And team members also have no plans of backing down. But it ends up with more clashes on the court. Well, Afghanistan, 
سالور نفر ما غلطی پات شد. نور ایتالیا کی وقت خدیدم؟ سر آن را البرت. چیزی هم مشکل دارم. زیرا قبل داد لعنت شم. تا یه ورزی هم متوایی وای کشی ری بان شیدم و مچه کو. Thanks for the International Committee of the Red Cross, which is supporting fully them, but uh, still there's a lot of concern uh, uh, for them because economical situation for most of them are it's not very good, uh, it's not stable. They need to uh, consider playing also to earn money for their families. The pressure and expectations are also mounting for the coaches. One of the aim that uh, we are trying to uh, make up the team is to succeed and to get the position at least. Sadiq was the first captain of the national team. When he was 12 years old, an explosive rocket landed in front of his class and blew off his right leg. Partly I was uh, hopeless and partly I was uh, hopeful. I, I, I hope a lot when the Afghanistan get peace fully. I joined the basketball team and participated to many tournaments internal and outside. I must, I must be connected with the basketball in any way. In, in basketball, there is an expression. There is no dead time. All the time is life. It means second to second, you can get benefit from the time and succeed your team. And I trust this hard working of team members. Whenever they do uh, basketball and sweets, I feel that we have future. After suffering defeat to Iran, Afghanistan is set to square off against the Philippines in their second game. And for many of the players, it's a must-win showdown. Today, our strategy and our plan and our to win and uh, nothing else. Because we need this. This win, we need it. The players have shown an unwavering spirit from the beginning of the game. But their opponents are no pushovers. Team Philippines continue to chase and keep the game a closely contested one. Whenever, whenever we get succeed, we hear our national song in outside Afghanistan. 
we feel power, we feel strength, we feel proud. This is what gives our moral. Do not give up in any condition. Try, you will manage. What's your hope for Afghanistan people? Peace. Only peace. If there is a peace, everything will come after the peace. If there is no peace, everything we even we have, we will lose it. This is a traditional place of Afghanistan. Hello everyone, we are ready to go to opening ceremony now. It's my goal that I can a best player in a world. That's your dream? Yes, that's my dream and my goal. Not just dream. This is my wish. One day I can walk this machine. Yeah, do, say, shoot. Woo!